This is a training video for desired wind calculations using the maneuvering board. First step is to use the maneuvering board in relative mode. So at 0, 0, 0, draw a line that represents the ship's heading. It's useful to also write the word relative, uh, to use a highlighter, and to draw a little picture of the ship to make sure you remember that it's in relative mode. There's three ways to solve desired wind problems using a mow board. Um, this is the method that I find the most simple. Next, you want to write down uh, the true winds, direction, and speed. This was calculated in a previous training video. Today, it's 160 degrees true at 6.5 knots. Also, label this on the mow board just as a reminder. You're going to use this uh, a little bit later on. Okay, we're going to use the 2 to 1 scale on the mo board today, so uh, write that down and make sure you remember to keep everything in the 2 to 1 scale. That's a common error. It results in uh, bad answers if you use the wrong scale. So on the 2 to 1 scale, we're going to measure 12 knots. That's how fast we want the wind to go. We're doing helicopter operations, so I'd like the true wind 30 degrees off the port bow at 12 knots. So on the 2 to 1 scale, I measure 12 knots. And then I plot a point 30 degrees off the port bow at 12 knots. This is pretty standard for helicopter operations on a flight deck equipped cutter or doing basket hoists or anything. Label this point alpha. And then draw a vector from uh, alpha to the origin. This represents the desired wind that we want. Again, 12 knots off the 30 degrees off the port bow. Now you go back to the true wind vector. Um, we determined that it was 6.5 knots true wind. We did this in a previous uh, training video, so if you need to review that one, go ahead. So on the 2 to 1 scale, I'll measure 6.5 knots. And now you swing an arc from uh, point A across the ship's head at 6.5 knots. This arc is going to intercept the ship's head almost always uh, in two places. So label those two intercept points as Bravo and Charlie. These two points represent two possible solutions to the problem. Almost always you use point Bravo because it results in a lower ship speed. So now what you do is measure from Alpha to Bravo or Alpha to Charlie if you want to use that one, but today we'll use Alpha to Bravo. Parallel that line back to the origin and draw out the solution vector. This solution vector represents how far away from the true wind your ship's heading should be in order to calculate the, uh, in order to get the desired wind that you want. So what we did is we measured from A to B a, a parallel line and brought it back to the origin and drew that out. Today we're going to measure that at 60 degrees off the bow. Again, this is a parallel line from A to B that's brought back to the origin, 60 degrees away from the ship's heading. Okay, so now we go back to the true winds that we wrote down earlier, count 60 degrees off of it. And the answer there is the heading that you need to bring your ship to to get the desired wind that you wanted earlier. So we count 60 degrees off in this case, we come up with 220. So we're going to point the ship at 220, and we're going to change our speed to be the, uh, the same as from the origin to Bravo, which was the point we used. So 
So the true wind was written down earlier. We measure 60 degrees off of it and bring the ship over there, adjust our speed to equal origin to Bravo, and then the desired wind will be exactly where we want it, 30 degrees off the port bow. To double check your work, uh, you can always remember that the true wind is aft and on the same side as the relative wind. So our heading is um, 220, the relative wind is where we want it, 30 degrees off the port bow, and then the true wind should be on the same side and aft. So to quickly review, put your ship's head at 000 degrees true. Draw out a vector representing the desired wind. Swing an arc, 6.5 knots or the true wind. The intercept points are Bravo and Charlie. Parallel from Alpha to Bravo back to the origin. Count the number of degrees from the head to that line, and that's your answer.